Thanks for tuning in to Weha Mag. We are here every single month to talk to you about what's going on in West Hartford from the perspective of the business associations. My name is Tom Hickey. I am from West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, and Weha Events, and I act as one of your hosts this evening, along with a few other people. And we'll start <laughs> to uh, my left, your right, and give our introductions. Hi, I'm Ronnie Newton, and I'm the editor of Weha.com. Hi, Barbara Karski. I am the president of the West Hartford Center Business Association. I'm Steve Dewey, representing the Park Road Business Association. Uh, I'm Barbara Lerner. I'm from the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. I'm Victoria Fortuna with Daily Moving and Storage, and I'm representing the Home Design District. Perfect. And for those, we're going to jump back to Barbara for a second, your two-minute plug about what you do for a living. Oh, what I do for a living. <laughs> when I'm not doing the West Harvest Center. you're not doing the West Harvest Center. <laughs> I own BK and Company. It's a women's clothing store on Farmington Avenue. Last year, we moved around the corner from LaSalle to uh, Farmington Avenue, and we love our space in West Harvard Center. And um, I do that. That's my full time job. And the West Harvard Center Business Association is my second Other job. Other full time job. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Steve, oh. how about you? Anything you want to add to Park um. Road? Uh, well, you about you personally? for me personally, yes, I, I am a Park Road neighborhood resident and also am an uh, architect and owner of Durate Design in the center. There we go. See, there's a commercial. All right, so there yeah. we go. We got it out. That's great. I thought what we would do uh, today, just because uh, November uh, is the time that the uh, care card uh, takes place every single uh, year. So uh, since Barbara is here, we'll let her speak specifically about the We Care card. And what we'll do, Barbara, is I know you have one little visual, but the poster and the participants and all that, we'll be able to send graphics uh, so they'll come up as we're speaking about them. Should Great. So talk about the We Care card. Okay, so the We Care card, um, <laughs> this is an event that this will be the second annual. Um, we used to do a kids, ca uh, kids card in West Hartford Center, and last year we decided to switch it up, and um, our proceeds this year go to Food Share. And so um, people can purchase this card for $50, and all the proceeds go to Food Share. And then with your $50 purchase with this card, you can go then to participating businesses and get all kinds of fabulous discounts and special offers. Um, for the most part, the retailers are 20% off. Um, there are some manufacturer's restrictions here and there. Um, and in all of your favorite restaurants, you can get 20% off a lunch or dinner entree, 20% off large pizzas. It's just so wonderful. And then some of the other smaller stores have special offers, maybe 25% off one item, maybe a gift bag of some kind. Um, so you can tour around this center and shop to your heart's delight and have and all eat. kinds of sa and eat mm -hmm. and have all kinds of savings and all the proceeds go to food share last year um we sold on just under 200 cards and we gave them a check for eight thousand dollars which equates to twenty thousand meals so it's a big push for us it starts on november 2nd it runs through the 12th and it's just a great time for customers to get out and buzz around the center and donate to a great great cause yes. and, and we have three locations right barbara for people to be able to look to see right. what, because there, there could be 50, 60, 60 businesses plus. involved, 60 yep. plus. Um, and just to re, uh, so our uh, listeners uh, uh, can check it out, uh, it would be weha.com. Obviously, it would be the center's website, right. um, uh, the center.com, uh, and it would be uh, WH squared. Correct. Uh, so there'll be a button on that um, as well. So you'll have three uh, opportunities to look at places and see where this, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where you can use your card. And, and where do you buy the card? You can buy the card online at weha.com. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I wasn't asking for that plug. <laughs> I know there's a, there are a number of sources, though. So right. people, people need to know that. So people can buy it online, and then you can pick it up at my store. And then throughout the center, at most of the participating um, retailers and restaurants, you can purchase the card. And yeah. I have to say, I'm sorry, I'll give the to you. You go, you go. I'll come back. Well, Food Chair has really uh, educated us on right. food insecurity in um, our area. And, you know, we, we take it for granted because we're all very fortunate and we don't have to think about where our next meal is coming from. Right. But so many people don't know where their next meal is coming from and they're one paycheck away from not being able to eat or be housed. Um, so Food Chair has been a really a great partner in this last year and again this year and we are really hoping to give them, I mean $8,000, they were over the moon with $8,000 last right. year. And Barbara put that together in 10 days with them. This year she's had a little more time yes. to think about it. <laughs> 
and to promote it. To and we're really everybody. hoping <laughs> that the numbers will be a lot higher this year. And just as an aside to that, um, Billy Grant um, and the Chamber, we're having an event at Grant's on November 16th. And every year, Billy calls Food Share and says, how many, how many turkeys do you need this year? And he commits to buying those turkeys. Last year, it was 800 turkeys. It's a lot of turkeys. Yeah. Mm. And he recoups some of that by um, asking his patrons if they'd like to make a donation. So our event on the 16th will be from 5.30 to 7.30. And you will, if you'd like, can make a $20 donation to buy a turkey. Because beyond those 800 turkeys, they always need more, and at the end of the season, they're always looking for a few more, and Billy always says, uh, whatever you need, I'll send you more. Mm -hmm. So we would like to help him this year. Um, we did last year, too. We had a, 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 an event there, Business After Hours, but this is going to be a flow West Hartford Chamber event, so it'll be our young professionals group and the regular chamber membership together at Grand Seal. Um, we don't charge. You'll get a cocktail and hors d'oeuvres and hopefully make a donation to buy some more turkeys. So, Sounds like fun. And what I remember from meeting Al Marino and uh, Diana Good from Food Share, uh, that whole team last year, was how they really stressed it stay, how it stays local. Mm. It know, all stays in Hartford County. This is a, you know, County. A, yeah. you know, service that's right. not, you know, that's but, really helping those in need, right? Well, and there's, a, there's a new executive director of Food Share now, too, who's a West Hartford resident. Um, Jason Jakubowski, am I saying that right? You yeah. are. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, I just have, in, in talking to him, he, since he took the job just a couple of months ago, he, he said he just, he didn't even know the extent to the need for what FoodShare is doing until he really got in there and, and went out to some of the events where they were, events is probably the wrong word, but went with the mobile food truck to see food being handed out and just realized the extent of the food insecurity in this I, area. It's I, staggering. I don't want to make this all about food share, but it's that time of the year and it really is important because also on November 11th, the flow group, the future leaders of West Hartford, the young professionals group from the chamber, is volunteering at food share because most of the sorting is done by volunteers. They only have 50 paid employees. Everybody else who works there is a volunteer and it's an ever-changing group of people. So lots of organizations have a food share day uh, where they send employees. So if you'd like to go, if you're a young professional, November 11th, you can sign up at the chamber. Amazing. That's yes. Great. I mean, they, they, Al did say that they distributed 15 million pounds of food out of the Bloomfield Warehouse last year. Mm -hmm. Um, that just gives you an idea of the tremendous need there is in our local area. So, you know, it, again, the food share does great work, and we're so excited to be able to participate that with local businesses helping local residents. So. And there was a formula, if I if I recall it correctly, too, that Al had. It was for every dollar that is given to food share, two and a half meals meals uh, are made available. Uh, it's pretty amazing when you think of it. So. That's great. All right, so lots of things to do, uh, uh, but most importantly, buy your card. Uh, buy your card. And, uh, and, and buy a turkey. And, and buy a turkey. <laughs> right. And then just enjoy yourself. <laughs> Shop and dine. Right? Yeah, that's right, you got it. That's it. Right, that's, Shop, that's, stroll, dine. That's something. Okay. Um, let's, uh, uh, for those of you who watch us every single month, and I'm sure that's everyone, um, uh, you're seeing a new face um, uh, today, and that's Steve. Uh, so, Steve, we'd love to hear. Um, about what you have done uh, in the Park Road uh, area uh, with regard to uh, beautification. Yeah, so uh, my wife Deanne and I are the new co-chairs of the Beautification Club. We have a nice little logo. Hopefully it doesn't reflect too much in the lights. Oh, um, but, you know, we've been working with John and Tracy to, one, expand the, the business association to the business and neighborhood association and create this beautification club that's going to promote property upkeep and just extending beautification. We already have a lot of nice properties in the neighborhood and we want to get the residents involved, not just the businesses. And we have also started uh, cleanup walks. My wife and I do almost two miles every day and once a week we pick up trash for about the 12 weeks now we've been doing it and it's amazing. We still end up with almost the same amount of Pick up being a, picking up a trash. Wow. You and your wife or a team yeah, of people? Just uh, for this team. You're, you're the, the team. team. Yeah, right, <laughs> the team. Um, we did have a, a, a sort of our first little impromptu uh, beautification club walk at the beginning of September where we had about 20 people showing up, ages about 7 to 78. 
walking each of, we had about four mile and a half routes that we were divided up into and I think again about 10 bags of garbage um, and it's mm. we're really just trying to create awareness and again hopefully the residents and the and the businesses will just realize you know unfortunately especially on a daily if it's windy out it's yeah. it's you know unfortunate you get trash but there are a lot of items that you know we really don't want to see in our neighborhood or, or any neighborhood for that matter we have some t-shirts we had made up so look for our, our bright green shirts um, and again uh, these are available if you want to go to the um, Park Road CT uh, website there's a link to the beautification club there's a way you can email us beauty at uh, parkroadct.com um, we're going to be advertising more and more through the website and uh, the Facebook to you know start having at least one or two cleanup events we're looking in the spring to have planters installed along Park Road we're, we've already kind of picked out 14 locations and we already have about seven verbal um, interests of companies not only in in Park Road but surrounding companies my company um, will be purchasing one um, through the Knox Foundation which mm -hmm. I believe they're involved in other areas of the town and they seem to be a great resource that will that will be involving we're also going to start a, a plant and seed swap we had a table set up at the Park Road Parade where we handed out a hundred packets of seeds that were actually collected from our yard and we're in, in a neighbor's yard and we're hoping that everybody will this time of year as you're cleaning up outside save those seeds we'll package them distribute them throughout the neighborhood and eventually have you know uh, a nice potential visual of plants that will all all look alike and if you don't have a big property there's um, container planting hanger planting doesn't all have to be in the ground and we're here to help with that and also expanding into volunteering with maybe some uh, light painting um, maintenance work um, yard work you know really just getting groups of volunteers to help out at different times to I was just going to ask you that if there was somebody who was who was listening you know uh, and watching us now and they needed some help you know um, with some of the cleanup or maybe a small repair or some yeah. painting yeah. You guys send us will do an email. That or? Yeah, send us an email so at least we'll we'll be aware of it. If it's something that's sort of beyond our, our volunteer scope of work, you know, we can reach out to some local contractors and, and other businesses to maybe see how they can help out. But hopefully we're gonna be an avenue for people to reach out to. Um, if you see, you know, another property that you have a concern with, you know, there there are town people, the health department, other groups that can be involved and we're gonna work directly I with them. I was gonna ask too. that too. Does anyone does the town still do that? Do they? Like wasn't there a program or something that if you needed to have repairs done to your home or something that you could have, I don't know if you well, would apply were, or... There were organizations that do it. In fact, the Home Design okay. District has now started a new group. Hmm. Um, they've met twice and they are putting, they want, their project is to help people that need work done on their homes that can't afford to oh, do wow. it. Yeah. So their next that meeting... That wasn't even a setup. I was yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> they've had, they've, they had a meeting last week I wasn't able to meet, but I got the minutes from the meeting today, oh. and their next meeting is at the um, Senior Center on Stalker Road. So if you go on to Stalker Road's calendar of events, I'm mm -hmm. sure that it's listed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, you know, we take it for granted that, you know, everybody's wealthy in West yes. Hartford and doesn't need any work done. Um, but there are a lot of people that need help. What I love about what the Park Road Association is doing is that they're, they're branding themselves as not just a business organization. They're branding themselves as a community organization. So your business is in West Hartford Center, but you live on Park Road. Mm -hmm. so, so you really see so both, really, both yeah. places. Um, and they're really trying to get the neighbors much more involved mm -hmm. in having um, a real vested interest in what the streets look like. I mean, you go home and you go to your house and you close your door. Mm -hmm. Most of the people on Park Road now are able to walk from their houses to, to dinner, to the theater, um, you know, for ice cream. There are so many things open there that you're taking a closer look at what the streets actually look like, and you didn't feel so good about it, so you did something about yeah, it, yeah, which is are, mm. awesome, really right? amazing. It's great. <laughs> yeah. You know, people are out there walking their dogs multiple times a day, and if you can just bring a little trash bag with you and pick up a couple items, you know, every little bit helps. And it makes a tremendous difference. And the plant, the flowers will too, mm, as it did in Bishop's Corner and uh, New Burton Avenue. I mean, well, it'd be great to have them all over town. Yeah, and we're going to launch a photo of the month um, on our website as well. So if you like photography, or if you just see something really nice in the in the neighborhood, take a picture, send it in. Um, we're 
ironing out the details, but you know, one, you know, we'll pick one each month to post as the photo of the month for our, the, the neighborhood. And right. the Home Design District has all sorts of things happening, don't they, Victoria? They <laughs> <laughs> do. Um, at Raymore and Flanagan, is that what we're yep. Yeah, on the 9th. The 9th, yeah, yep. That we're having an event there um, that's business after hours, so that will be really good. And that's hosted um, by Raymore and Flanagan, but sponsored by the Home Design District, because exactly. they really don't have yeah. a space to hold a business after hours. Right. Mm -hmm. So there'll be food and drink, Yeah. Um, and uh, it is a chamber event, but anybody is invited. If you're a non-member, there is a $20 fee, mm -hmm. um, or you can come as a potential member or guest for free. Um, but it's a great event. We typically have between 50 and 60 people at these yeah. business after hours. Yeah. And you had one the other night where you guys all dressed up and had fun. We huh? did. We had a business <laughs> after hours at, in Avon at the North yeah. House. They are members of the chamber yeah. and we, had co we were in costume. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> you can go online and see those pictures. <laughs> yeah. They had a lot of fun. Um, also in the home design district, a lot of people are, you know, getting in the spirit of the holidays. You know, it comes up and kind of like we were sharing, the need is not as, um, we're not aware of the need as much um, as it we should be sometimes. And so um, I know a lot of businesses are looking towards that. I know um, over at Clover 9, the green building, they're dedicating the whole month of November um, to being thankful and helping others. They're actually um, adapting a newly disabled veter veteran's home, and they're making it we wheelchair accessible and um, that kind of thing. So they're just moving so towards. So where, where is this happening? Okay. Yeah, where is where's the <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard of that building. Yeah, really, the Clover yeah. Nine Green Building. Cool. Yeah, that's John Powers. So, yeah. so John is a contractor, okay. home improvement guy, and his right. business is it on is New Burton Avenue? Design. No, no he's, New he's not. He's not on New Burton. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, on, on um, New Park Avenue. He, he's off of New Park. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so they're adapting a new, I'm not sure where that building is. They just sent over that they okay. were doing that. Um, there is a prize for stumping touch. Lonnie, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah. there is a prize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, and <laughs> just also yeah. want to say <laughs> that they were traveling actually to the Dominican Republic to build hurricane-proof houses for people who work in sugar cane. Um, farming over there, so that was something. John is, yeah, wow. yeah. So, <laughs> so well, he's putting together a team. I'm not sure if he's necessarily going, but he's putting together a team to do that in the wake of that. And yeah, it's very cool. And at Dailies, we're always looking for um, to help others around this time. I know last year we uh, delivered all the teddy bears um, to all the children's homes in town, and um, so we're looking forward to things like that. Um, and kind of like we were saying, sprucing up houses and stuff because people are coming. Um, you know, Dailies is really a place where we can come in and help people, like you were saying, clean things up and, you know, take things out of houses so um, we can donate it to people who might need stuff around this time. So, yeah, it's really an exciting time in, a, in the moving industry because a lot of people are looking to give um, and we're able to transport a lot of that giving and so that's really cool. You know, we might not always be the source of it, but we can move it from place to place and that's really cool. And can you give us any update on, uh, I don't know if, if officially what it's called, but next to uh, Oscars and Arlie, uh, the town's oh, residence and retail? Oh, it's New Park, right? Oh, that oh, was the called? apartments. Well, that's creative. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's closed in now, so I would I would oh. really love for us to get a tour. Maybe we yeah. could do a show from there. Oh, wouldn't that be so yeah. remote? That would be great. Yeah. That would be great. It's a, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful building. It's so big that... I've tried to photograph it, and I can't, I can't really get the, the right street. perspective. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love yeah. to stand in front of it and get you know a front view, but you just you need a real wide-angle lens. Um, yeah, there are lots of plans that. for that area. There's mm -hmm. another uh, developer looking to do um, a large development of housing off of New Park. Um, they'll go before the council next year. Okay. I mean, it's mm -hmm. really become a prime area. It's it's kind of like our Soho. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully yeah. there'll be the gastro park. Across the street. That would be right. uh, that would be great yeah. too. Yeah, we're waiting yeah. to hear Next about the Next year, we hope. Yeah. Beautiful, Barbara. Can we jump back to you for a minute because sure. we have some really big news for West Hartford Center and Blueback uh, for this holiday season. We're uh, gonna shake it up this year. <laughs> 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 jingle, jingle. We're gonna move our holiday stroll to Friday night this year. Um, we've talked about it for a couple of years now, making the move, um, just to give families the opportunity to have a more leisurely stroll. Um, I know there's always, when you come out with your young kids, there's always a, the pressure to get your kids back and uh, do their homework and get into bed. So this year we're moving from Thursday to Friday. 
So it'll be December 1st. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Friday, December 1st, and we're really looking forward to it. I think it's going to give a whole different vibe to the stroll. It'll give families the opportunity to stroll with their kids and their families, and then maybe stay and grab a pizza, go out to dinner, do a little shopping where there's not this tremendous pressure to feel like they've got to get it all done and get out of there by 7. And we'll um, have entertainment again this year, and Sa of course, Sandra and Mrs. Claus and the tree lighting at Blueback Square. There'll be lots of things going on on two different stages, one at Blueback Square, one up in the center. We're not exactly sure of the location yet, but it will be a good location. That's right. <laughs> what about the hours? Is it going well, to be 5 to 8? Well, 5 to 8, yeah. but yeah. we may have an, a little extended... Um, Remember after last year we tried that sort the, of the karaoke, right, the after right. stall, so we might... Uh, we'll see what Flo says. We, yeah. might, uh, <laughs> we might be able to, uh, you know, have that continue and not be cutting into anybody's you know, like you know, the evening too Like much. the Halloween stroll, this is, you know, yeah. these are our signature events this yeah. time of the year right. where it's really family oriented and it's a give back to the community yeah. for their support over the years. I mean, if you remember yeah. last year we had such amazing weather. It was, it was so beautiful. Oh, it was. It was a mob scene Real and mob really scene. congested in certain areas where, you know, you couldn't even get through, you know, so um, some sort of rearranging, uh, you know. Yeah, we want to make it easy for easy. people with strollers, strollers and kids and, and yeah. um, not make it difficult to get down the streets. Um, yeah. well, some of our streets are a little narrow and with this warm weather, all the outdoor dining tables are still <laughs> out there. Yeah. 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 Right. And they could be out there till the end Who of knows? December. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We can, we hope. can hope. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The weather stays like this. I mean, it's really been remarkable. So, so we really have some great events coming up. I mean, there's so tons sure to do in town. Absolutely. And you can go to the Chamber website and, you know, see the listings. Renee McHugh does a fabulous listing of all events in the center. And then there's um, WeHa, an app you can get on your phone. Yeah. I'm Jeff Loviano, and then there's weha.com. I mean, I go to Ronnie for all of my information every Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's any news to be told about new businesses opening or starting new operations or having major anniversaries or hiring new, you know, people in in um, important positions, um, I try to make sure that that's included on the, in the weekly business buzz column on Monday morning. And that column's been really long lately. There's been so <laughs> many things to, to say. Mm -hmm. I try to... I used to try to keep it to five bullet points, and now it's always ten or twelve. I mean, they're just there's so many things happening. Well, Most of them good. There are things going on in every business district, mm -hmm. so it's it used to be pretty much there are a lot going on in the center, but a few things in the other districts. But now between the home design district and Park Road and Bishop's Corner, and um, oh, Corbin's Corner too. Corbin's you, Corner. I, every time I go by there, I'm amazed at the work it's that's crazy. been done mm -hmm. on the former Sears building. Mm -hmm. It, it's really yeah. taking shape to look like the schematic now. And, and they uh, keep saying December, and it, I'd be amazed if something opens in there in oh, December. Oh, that's not going to happen. December no, this year? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> It'll be 2018, definitely. Yeah, 2018. It, yeah. it, it looks good, but it's not close <laughs> enough to open. Someone probably wants to be open for the holidays, right? That's what it <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. I'm going to have a little stick. They'll put a tent. They'll put a tent <laughs> up. That's what they, Absolutely. Yeah, but it is in every segment of our town. It's so true. Yeah, there are really things true. going on, and they're exciting things, mm. and they're positive things. Ronnie, any uh, any breaking news that we didn't talk about that you'd like to share with oh, everyone or anything? Oh gosh, um, I know the I was, I was going to bring up the Park Road, you know, um, what do you call it, intersection or entrance exit ramp. Oh, you know, oh well, that, that's, yeah, you know, that that's a construction project that's going to be going on for about the next year and a half, really, and um, it it will impact traffic, but not really so much right now, other than the way it already has. The exit ramp will not be closing. The road. Park Road will always be open with at least one lane of traffic in each direction. Um, right now, they've t they've taken down a lot of trees. They're going to be relocating the ramp, but they'll build a new one before they close the old one. So, it'll be done on that you know kind of green triangle, or that that triangle of, of empty land right now. But eventually, um, the the ramp will go there, and they'll close off the old one, and they'll widen Park Road, add some left turn lanes coordinate the lights and you and I both live you know mm -hmm. kind of near that so that will impact our our drive um, eventually in a very good way mm -hmm. Absolutely. and that our next show we'll be able to talk about the results of the election you're right that's we have true. an election Absolutely. In, uh, very good. I'm Number just wondering if, the, if anyone can hear the music. What is yeah. it? The, the, the senior it's centers. Kind of We're not having like a pool like party. Like or anything next door. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I hear things vibrating. Now. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this annual entertainment showcase there is, or something. There, at, okay. 
and, and I think it's primarily the seniors. They come from the two senior centers in town. Okay, beautiful. And, uh, uh, well, I, I, I set you up without asking about breaking news because I thought I'd end with some breaking news for a change, which is sort of exciting. Um, I just left a meeting at our new uh, hotel at Delamar. Um, and uh, we don't have a date yet, but in the month of January, uh, there will be a celebrations showcase um, at Delamar. Uh, so it will be, they are in the process of uh, putting together a preferred vendor uh, list for the hotel, like they have in all of their other um, hotels. Um, so this will be an opportunity for local businesses to showcase uh, themselves, uh, very limited, um, you know, number of very boutique style uh, in its presentation. Um, and, and celebrations, you mean like weddings, weddings bar mitzvahs? Bar mitzvahs, anniversaries, birthdays, mm -hmm. business meetings, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, and uh, and WeHa Events uh, is going to, um, uh, to run that in conjunction uh, okay. with Delamar. So it'll be real exciting time in January when everyone's bored <laughs> and needs something to do uh, we'll find a great uh, a great time to present that so that should be fun. well that's great because they need to create all those relationships yeah, with new, new businesses to them mm -hmm. in our community so Amazing. it's a wonderful place to have it yeah and how about do you know anything about the structure about the sculpture that's in front the, the story behind oh, it? it I don't so I just was wondering if it, it, you know you're, you're putting me on the spot Sorry, I don't I have the sure. name of the artist yeah. but it, it's called something like land, sea, and air, and um, it's, it's just kind of whimsical. Yeah, and, um, I you know, think Charles Mallory, the, they all have things to do, don't they, with his business? He collects antique cars, he owned a shipping company, and I oh, think it all has it something was? to all do right. with okay. his businesses. Yeah. Right. And, and well, the whole hotel has a lot of, a lot of art um, that, that is associated with it. It's, uh, it's a, the location of an exhibit. A roving exhibit or a rotating exhibit, I should say, from the New Britain Museum of American Art, and then there are also a number of really interesting pieces by local artists that are in the hotel. There's the bench in the lobby that's made all out made of, of quarters. quarters, and I think it's fifteen hundred dollars worth of quarters that that create that bench. So, but no one can take it because it weighs <laughs> a lot. And I found out today that each quarter is a is representative of each state and is a collector's. Uh, oh quarter. wow. Which I didn't realize. And, I mean, how yeah. many hotels do you walk into when you're greeted by an Andy Warhol? Exactly. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Pretty amazing. <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, there are a lot of, you know, there's, there's a West Hartford artist who has her work um, yes. on display. It's part of the mm -hmm. per permanent collection. The, yeah. the New Britain, like the Andy Warhol, won't stay there forever. No. It's no. A, <laughs> but there will be another <laughs> wonderful right. painting there right. once that leaves. I'm going to use that as a segue because um, uh, West Hartford Magazine, Weha Magazine, that's on the coffee table here, is in every room at Delamar and in their common area. Areas. And in conjunction with them, we came up with the idea of each issue of the magazine now is going to feature, feature local art. Uh, so it'll be fun for you to be able to look for each issue uh, because it won't be a standard cover uh, like uh, exists in so many other products in the area, which is great. Uh, this will just be a little bit different because it gives us an opportunity to showcase uh, something locally. And so I got a chance to, to meet this artist at yeah, the Delamar Ribbon Cutting. Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. Fascinating. That's amazing. Well, thanks again. As always, we're out of time. I tell you guys not to worry about it because it, <laughs> uh, it, it, it runs through much too quickly. Uh, but thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in, uh, next month. In the meantime, buy your We Care cards, uh, buy some turkeys, uh, <laughs> check out all the scheduled events and activities uh, on weha.com, uh, on the Chamber site, on the centers.com, uh, or on the WH Squared. Uh, and we'll see you. Next, we'll be talking about December. So we'll, we'll be talking about the holidays. We'll be talking about the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Take care.